Hello everybody, I am Caleb aka Conclux999 and today we are going to be playing a new game. Yeah, I know, like, we play so many. Oh, and uh, don't mind my desktop background either. Yeah, sorry, the game's taking a little bit to open up. I, uh, I probably should not be mentioning... Okay, I need to shut up, like, the... okay, here we go. Ooh. It seems these two trains are angry at each other. This is a... The green... The, or the red train is angry at the green train for killing his woman. But the... The green train is... Is is angry at the red train for killing his brother. And I don't know why I'm making up this very stupid story. It's not even really a story, to be honest. Ha 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 ha. We're gonna be playing a game called Five Nights at Smudgers. And, before we get started, I just want to mention that I'm actually joined by the creator of Five, the creator of Five Nights at Smudgers himself, Big Trevi. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if the viewers can hear you either. Wait, hold, hold, hold on. Let me let me open up my volume mixer. Okay. Um. I heard, I heard the little game sound there. Wow. Usually no one can hear hear what's going on on my computer when I'm in a call. I guess I'll turn the game volume down. So, and I'll turn the speakers up a bit. Um. And yeah, we should be good. Anyways, again, I'm joined by Big Trevi, the creator of Five Nights at Smudgers himself. Hello everyone, this is Big Trevi here. <laughs> and I figured because um, he taught me a little bit on um, how to make a uh, Five Nights at Freddy's game, uh, helped me out a little bit with Five Nights at Shay's, and so we've become, I guess, I guess close friends, I guess you would call it. I don't know. <laughs> and so yeah, Five Nights. Five Nights at Smudges is basically a game that is, I should, it's not in like any way infiltrated with like the Five Nights at Thomas' series, well, here, why don't you explain? You want me to explain? What? <laughs> is it hard to explain that you say I can, are you getting required again? Okay, I'll explain it then. The re this is not like a ripoff of like the Five Nights at Thomas series. It's actually just it's actually um uh Trevi actually thought of the thought of the Five Nights at Smudgers idea before Five Nights at Thomas's was even released. He just like didn't know like Yeah, did not make a game like that. You get you get full scared now that I can hear you a bit more now. <laughs> Alright, um actually I should probably I should probably screen share now that I think about it. Where's the where's that? Here it is. Um, can you see the game? It's loading right now. And it's just a black screen like your mouse. I don't know, is it loading or are you playing? Yeah, oh, I'm, I, yeah I'm playing. I guess it's not going to work. When, um, okay, anyways, anyways, let's stop. Why don't we stop dilly-dallying and actually play the game? Let's hit new game. Okay. Since 1912, so do Republic Press. March twenty second, uh, or March second, two thousand fifteen. Reopen. Help also needed. The Mid Sodor Railway has been reopened after being closed down and abandoned since nineteen forty seven. New engines have been brought onto the railway, but have. Excuse my typing. It's fine. New engines have been brought onto the railway, but there is one that had remained there after it closed. A little, gr a little green engine that was turned into a generator, but it hoped to be rebuilt for into a full engine again. Since he was, was the only engine that was left there, we are now renaming the railway after him to Smudger's Railway. We need a security guard to work the night shift from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. to watch the cameras for thieves. And are you the right person for the job? I just realized a spelling error here. Or a grammar error, not spelling. 500 pounds a week. If, if interested, call 1888 Smudger's Railway. The Mid-Soto Railway back in the day. 
yeah, um, phones as much as is in UK. Uh, that, that that's fine. That's fine. I shouldn't. Yeah. yeah. If you can't tell already, like the money stuff like that is in USA is really different than the United Kingdom. But anyways, yeah. I also like how you made it so we can I can actually read the newspaper. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I I did notice that. That's why I made it like that because I've seen every load of gameplays where the newspaper just fades out. Yeah, it's like five. That's a, it's like five. That's a Thomas's three. Only gives me like three seconds to read like ten second long text. But anyway, oh, yeah. but and but again, let's stop dilly dallying and play the game. It's twelve o'clock a.m. Night one. Most newspapers are not, yeah. Not really okay, bad. we're gonna okay we're gonna keep quiet while we listen to um Trevi's hands very handsome voice to say the least. What the phone guy voice? I really don't want to yes. hear that. Yeah, the yeah the phone yeah the phone call voice. Hey, listen to my. Anyways, just, just stop. Um, hello there. Welcome to your brand new job at the new reopening to the railway, which has now been renamed to Smudges Railway. Your job is to wash the cameras for any criminal activity. Your night shift will last from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. We have put a lot more cameras on now as we discovered some underground mines and we built a new building for the new office. The previous office was only in a trailer home and had very limited power that went down very quickly. We had a previous night guard who worked in there and kept running out of power, until after his second night we haven't seen him since. He most likely just quit after being annoyed about the power, but since then we have had a lot more time to work on the power system, and now we have a better working power supply. So allow me to explain how it works. First we have a set of two doors and hall lights in your office. The lights have a limited supply, however the doors only have a limited supply. Only closing these doors will cause the power to drain, whereas the old supply went down dramatically. The doors are there to protect you from anyone trying to get inside to rob a place or attack you, even though that is very unlikely. Anyway, the next thing is, if you look at camera number 10, you will see there is a piston system we have set up. The piston is used for the mine cameras right next to your office, which is camera number 12, 13, and 14. On those cameras, you will see there is a closed and open option. This is used because we found out there is a way under you for anyone to get in your office. So if you see anyone in there, simply close the mine off and it will stop them from getting in. But make sure you power the piston as well while doing so. As shutting off one of the mines uses the piston's power, the more mines that are shut off, the faster the piston will go down. And if the piston loses all of its power, you won't be able to shut the mines off for the rest of the night, which might leave you vulnerable to anyone trying to get to you from there. But again, that's very unlikely, of course. But anyway, if someone does try to get in that certain area of the mine, there is a lot of wood and rubble about, so if anyone does try to get in that area, you'll probably hear like falling over, or rocks crumbling, or something like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you see anything, report it to me after your shift, and I'll see you tomorrow night. Good night, mate. Okay, the phone call's finally over, so you can speak now. Yeah. Just to know, I didn't really. I don't think I did good on that phone calls. I'm not really sure. Uh, well, I want to mention. I actually want to mention to the viewers real quick. Five Nights at Smudges is actually based off of an episode of Thomas the Tank Engine, um, where Smudger. I I don't remember everything about it, but I vaguely remember that that Smudger was has been like a quote, and this is a direct quote, naughty engine, and he ended up um, being punished by being turned into a dead generator. Is that what happened? Yeah. Yeah, he rode roughly and come off the rails a lot, and that's how he was turned to a generator in the first place, and the whole thing is about him coming back and onto the rails again and getting revenge. So yeah, this whole game is basically based off of one episode of Tom's the Tank Engine. But I mean, it's amazing how one, one, and it's not just me that's made, like, fan games, or the fan game or something. I mean, those people have made videos of him coming back and stuff like that. Even though it's different, it's not a killer train. Oh! It's really popular. Oh, so you... So you basically... This, so this game... I'm like, the only one that's made a game. Um, but... There's oh, geez. people have made videos. There's, hold up. About. There's, there's nothing quite like it. <laughs> I just saw, like, a hallucination or something. Anyways, I should probably actually get into gameplay details. So, why don't we shut up for a second and I will explain the names of the enemies. This yellow engine right here is named... Actually, I forgot. What is it? Proteus. Huh? Proteus. Say that again? Proteus. Proteus? Yeah, it's, okay. it's a strange... It's not a common okay. name. Okay, Proteus... So yeah, Proteus is one, of the, is one of the enemies, and... Which camera was I just looking at? Okay. He is... Where'd he go? 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 
Um, this one, on the other hand, the one in camera one, what's his name? Which one? What color? He looks reddish brownish. Oh, the, the one in the main shed? That's yeah. Bertram. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got Bertram and Protea. So, wait, is, Bert, is Bertram active on night one? No, that's night two. Okay. Uh, along with Scruffy, the balloon train. Oh, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Spoilers, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone's played this already, though. <laughs> yeah, but you never know. There could be some people who haven't played it. <laughs> Anyways, so Proteus is the only one active, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, um, if you count, unless you count Shadow Smudger. Shadows? Oh, yeah, there's like a hallucination that can appear in the office, like... Like that! <laughs> yeah. Only night one and night two, you will see him. Yeah, that was the character named Shadow Smudger. You only see him on night one and night two, as as Trevi just said. Um, um, what does he do if you stare at him for too long? I'm curious. Gold Freddy just does a jump scare and crashes the game. <laughs> All right then. I guess I guess while we're um, since nothing's really happening, I could explain. You see this uh, poster with Smudger on it? Click at the top of his head. Yeah. It, it's not working. Okay, there we go. Yeah, what happens with that is, um, basically the track that's used has a bit of silence in the middle, so when you press it, it restarts, so it doesn't play it straight away. Oh. So you've got to wait. I messed up on that one, but obviously I fixed that in two and three. Well, that's fine. I actually didn't even know there was like a squeaky, squeaky thing in, uh, in uh, two and three. Yes, there actually is. Yeah. Yes. Oh, jeez, jeez, jeez. Bertram's whistle, and the third one he got smudges again. Dude, Proteus just scared the crap out of me. I didn't actually know where he was. I was about to look for him, and then I saw him at the door. Okay. Dude, I'll tell you. I'll tell you a story. And this is not a joke. When I was testing it out with Proteus, and I made all the cameras, and I tested the AI movement for the first time, Proteus scared me. He actually scared me when I saw him on the cameras. I think it was in, um, what was it, the mine entrance, he was right there, and I knew he was going to be there, and I just was scared anyway, I was like, I can't explain why, don't know how. Where is the mine entrance? There's only a camera that says entrance. The mine engine, what, the engine that truck in the mine? You talking about camera 9? No, I'm, yeah, I'm, oh, I can't remember, I can't remember the cameras. Okay. Oh, wait, it's camera 4, I see. Yeah. <laughs> okay, anyways, I should mention, uh... If you want to know if, like, Proteus is there or not, he only appears in, uh, the middle door. Oh, jeez! Freaking hallucination again. Yeah, they... Yeah, if you want to know if he's there or not, this thing right here, this, uh, triangle right here, this green triangle, will actually turn red. So that will t help you know if he... help you if he... If, if you don't know if he's there or not. Um... Yeah. Anyways, as I was saying, there is going to be, and there is, a sequel and a threequel to Five Nights at Smudgers. Prequel, yeah. I would, yeah, I would say it's a prequel in a way. I didn't say, I didn't say prequel, I said threequel. Oh, three, oh, I thought you said prequel. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll leave that one alone, then. Yeah, um, I won't give, speaking of prequels, I'm going to, <laughs> voice crack, there were some major voice cracks in that sentence, and actually, now that I think about it, maybe I shouldn't even finish it. But yeah, these pistons. Okay, now one thing I should mention is the pistons. Uh, the pistons in uh, cameras 12, 13, 14. Don't worry about. Don't worry about those just yet. Um, they will become income. Have more significance in later nights. Yeah, next night, AKA. Yeah. That's a curiosity. Where did you get the sounds for the door closing? I think, yeah, it was definitely YouTube. I just typed in door sound effects. Alright, I'll look it up after this. Because I want to use that same sound effect for, um, five minutes of Shays. But anyways, there's night one. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. Your password for night two is 6448. But yes. we are but we are going to leave that for the next episode because I, I should mention how I do these like five minutes of Freddy's games. I usually do um, every night in a separate video because uh, my recording stuff is kind of weird. Basically, if I make a video that's below 15 minutes or or um, lower, 
and I can just upload it directly from my from my camera. Whereas if it, whereas if I make a video that's more than fifteen minutes, whereas if I make a video that's more than fifteen minutes long, I uh, I uh, just um, just put it on my computer and uh, and uh, upload it from there, which takes a little longer, but you get the points. Um, we're gonna I'm gonna leave um, the other nights with with um, sep in separate videos. All right. Okay, anyway. Anyways, guys, this has been Caleb, a.k.a. Cool Clux 9 and a 9. Next time on Five Nights at Smudgers, we are going to do the night, the second night. See you guys then, and as always, remember to smile. You were the face of Cool Clux 9 and a 9 Gaming. God bless you. Goodbye.